a few lines from St. Francis's Canticle of Creation. Be praised, my Lord, for all you creation, and especially Brother Son, who brings us the day and the light. He is strong and shines magnificently. O oh Lord, we think of you when we look at him. We hear from the book of Genesis today, the first of two creation stories. It has great images, all these creatures and winged birds and even uh, beasts of uh, the, the field and uh, the sea. I want to point out just uh, two things here. We hear on the fifth or sixth day, well, God created man in his image. In the divine image, God created him. Male and female, God created him. So, in this uh, account of creation, the man and woman are created together, equally crowning creation and giving dominion and responsibility over creation. That we are created in the image and likeness of God is the foundation of Catholic social teaching. Everyone deserves consideration and respect because you, no matter what you look like, are the image and likeness of God. Toward the end, it says that on the seventh day, God rested, and the seventh day was made holy. Well, when we had an uh, agrarian economy, this worked better than it does today uh, with all kinds of activities and stores open on Sundays. But given that things have changed, I, I remember Sundays being kind of slow and boring when I was a boy. That was a while ago. But keep the Lord's day holy. How do you do that nowadays? Well, one thing is we come together for the Eucharist. That's a little bit more difficult for many people who are observing a quarantine strictly and stay at home. And when we attend Mass remotely, it's important to make like a sacred space. This is a different experience than paying your bills on your computer or watching a movie on your computer. You're coming to prayer, addressing God in heaven. And you're doing that with the whole body of Christ, whether they're each at home looking at their screen or here in the church building. So the Sabbath, in what ways do you make it different? In what ways do you mark it as a day of rest and a day of praise? This, um, I want to get back to this prayer from St. Francis because it's filled with praise. We heard the strophe about brother's son. He goes on to say, Be praised, my Lord, for Sister Moon and for the stars which you have set shining and lovely in the heavens. Be praised, my Lord, for brothers' wind and air and every kind of weather by which you, Lord, uphold life in your creatures. Be praised, my Lord, for Sister Water. And he goes on. There's a strong awareness in this canticle that we are part of creation. We are part of the creation that is to give 
praise to God just by being. And we are given a very special place in all of this because it's part of our uh, job to care for creation and along with God, man and woman become co-creators of our own human race. So give praise to God for all these things that we see in nature. Give thanks to God for the Sabbath, your day of rest. 